Howdy YouTube and welcome to this episode of The Gunman. So I've decided to make a video on how much paint you're going to need to do a respray on your car. It's a fairly common question, but there is no real one size fits all answer. At the end of the day, there is many contributing factors into the amount of paint that you're going to need to paint your car. Uh, what color is it going? What kind of paint are you using? Um, how big is the car? Are you painting the inside, door jams and everything as well? So. Um, I'll do my best to try and clarify some of the things that will um, factor into it. But um, my rule of thumb for a general average sized car is 200 mils for the exterior of a panel and 300 mils for inside and out. Now, if you're not an experienced painter, you would probably want to go on the safe side and add an extra 50 mils. So if you're painting the inside and out outside of a panel, instead of going 300, maybe go 350 because I've had uh, a lot of time um, to hone in my skills and make sure that I'm not uh, using any more paint than I need to. Um, so yeah, like with insides and panels, uh, most of the time you can usually just put one and a half coats on over a ground coat. So um, that's another thing that will impact the amount of paint that you're gonna uh, need for your car. So um, where I work, we've got lots of uh, paint, old paint sitting on the benches. So if I'm painting in red, and I know reds don't cover very well, I've got a couple of options. I can either use a sealer, so a wet on wet primer, or I can just find some old red on the bench, put that down first, and that will mean I'm not gonna actually have to use so much color. Um, so another one, silvers sometimes in solvent, they won't cover so well. Um, another thing is to think what kind of paint you're using. Are you gonna do it in a uh, direct gloss uh, solid color? or are you going to be using a metallic base coat, or are you going to be using a solvent or water-based base coat? Again, that will uh, likely vary the amount that you're going to need. Now, from my experience when using water bomb paints, um, I've used Chromax, uh, Chromax Pro before, I'm not very experienced with many other water bomb lines, but um, they are ready for use. So if I mix up um, a liter of Chromax Pro, that's all I get. Whereas if I mix up a liter of standoc solvent or most solvent based ranges, um, they will be thinned down with thinners uh, at either a two to one or three to one ratio. Although that, that can vary, some are even one to one. Um, so if your uh, ratio is two to one and you um, order in or buy one liter, you're actually gonna be end up with uh, one and a half liters ready to spray. Um, so, being that the solvent doesn't quite cover so well, I found it around the same amount you will actually need for water to solvent. I have found it, like um, all the paint reps and that, and the people trying to push shops towards water, they will always say, oh yeah, you save paint, but in the end of the day, you don't actually really. If anything, I've actually found I'm um, able to mix up a little bit less using solvent. Um, but yeah, look, rule of thumb for me is on an average sized car, in and out, so just a standard Commodore or what uh, Holden Commodore, um, a Ford Falcon, something like that. Uh, what's an international car that would be so for my American viewers? I guess um, sort of like a Nissan Altima, something like that. That's probably fairly common over there in in the US. Just a, a general mid-sized sedan type car. Um, four liters of base coat, so four liters of solvent-based base coat is what I would um, want to mix up. Now, nine times out of 10, that will be a little bit too much, so you usually be left with half a liter or something like that, but that's by design. I don't want to um, get to the end of a respray and find out that it actually is a little bit see-through and then find out that I needed to put a bit more color and I didn't have it. So yeah, you're always best off having a little bit more, and even if you did, uh, even if you were left over with half a liter, it's never a bad idea. Um, six months down the track, you might scrape, scratch your bumper bar rather than having to get it color matched and you might not be able to get that same brand of paint. You might not know the variant that they mixed up. Um, it's always handy to have a little bit left over. Um, and yeah, as I say, same thing. I'd probably go, if I was to do the, the same size car in water base, I'd probably still go four liters, you know? Um, and apart from that, yeah, ground coats, I went over that. Um, smaller cars, like I just painted this uh, Suzuki Cappuccino and I ordered in three liters for it. I kind of knew I was gonna be a little bit on the higher side, but uh, of what I needed, I probably could have got away with two and a half liters. But again, as I said, it's never gonna be a bad thing to have a little bit more. And I knew that the paint that we were getting was um, 
pretty cheap anyway, so it wasn't going to be breaking the bank. So those estimates that you've seen me put up on screen, uh, yeah, that usually leaves me with a little bit left over if I um, use that formula. Again, as I say, like a larger car, maybe just go a little bit more. If you're unexperienced, maybe just go a little bit more. If it's a coarse metallic, go a little bit more. If it's a red or if it's a yellow or even some greens, especially in solvent range, maybe just go a little bit more. Um, and as for clear, usually I will just order in a seven and a half litre kit for a respray. Again, you'll probably be left over with a litre or two, but it's usually something that will always be handy to have around. So yeah, look, if there's any more questions, I'll do my best to answer it down in the comments. Um, but I just thought I could make a video on the topic and try and cover the basics of it because um, when someone does ask that question, how much paint am I going to need to uh, paint my car, you really need to give me a lot more information than just asking that quick question because then I've got to chime back in with all these different variables like what size is the car, what colour are you painting it, what paint system are you using um, and that can get uh, quite time consuming for me considering the amount of uh, questions and comments I do get on this channel so I don't discourage it but um, yeah I do apologize these days um, it's getting pretty hectic with comments and that and during the week sometimes I'm just really tired when I get home and I just want to sit down and relax and watch YouTube myself so um, yeah if there's any others uh, if, if you're watching a video of mine and you read some comments down below and you think you can help someone out be sure to um, help people out as well um, it's all about being a community I guess so I guess I'll leave it at that. Um, yeah, and um, I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching, and uh, now you've seen this video, get out there and paint some shit. Coming out.